Hi sweets, this is the look that we're going for today. It's with affordable makeup as well and it's really easy to achieve. So if you wanna know how to do it, just keep on watching and we're gonna start to it. Today we're gonna do a look with affordable makeup and a look that we can actually um, have it done for day or night as well. And for a very long time I have uh, wanted to do this um, eye look. So let's hope that I, it actually, that I can actually achieve it. So let's start the makeup. We're gonna start by using something like this. This is a scotch tape. It doesn't have as much adhesive as a regular tape. So it is a really good for the face. We're gonna use a little bit of the tape and using our bottom lashes as a guideline, we are going to press the tape to our skin. Make sure that both eyes have the same elevation with the tape because if not, we're gonna have a higher crease in one and a lower one in the other one. So let's make sure that both eyes look exactly the same or try to at least. For eyeshadow base, we're going with my Milani Retouch and Erase. I apply my base with my fingers in both eyes. We're gonna buff it and blend it in both eyes to make sure that we have a nice base. For this look, I'm going to use my NYX Barefoot in the Sand. I'm gonna apply all over my lid the number one color. I'm gonna apply this color all over my lid. I'm applying it all over my lid and I'm taking it as higher as my brow bone. Now going back to the palette, I'm gonna use the color number two. And this one, I'm gonna try to apply it as close as I can to the tape that we have in our eye. I'm doing this with my Basanti Contour Eyeshadow Number no. 4 brush. And I'm trying to tie this to the line of my top lashes. It's really important that as you are applying, you are blending the color to the lead. Going back to the palette, I'm gonna apply the third color here, which is a, like a taupe. This I'm applying it on top of the color that I already had. With a crown detail shader, I'm tapping and applying this color really close to the tape. And I'm smudging it at the same time. Be careful and try to put it as close as you can. Going back with color number two, I'm going to drag a little bit of the color to my crease. Going again with my Basanti Contour eyeshadow number four, I'm blending everything until it disappears. Also, I'm gonna use this Maybelline palette it's called the Nudes. I'm gonna add to this look this brown, grayish brown here. I'm applying it on top of the tape and now really close to my lash line in my outer V. With a Sigma E47 brush, I'm going to apply it and blend this color at the same time. Since this brush is really thin, it helps you to be precise in your application of shadow. And now, going back to the palette, I'm going to use the black one here. Going with my Eyelash Cosmetic 333 brush, I'm applying and blending at the same time this color really close to my lash line and to the tape to give a little more definition to this eye look. And now we're gonna blend everything together. Going back with my Sigma E47, I'm erasing any harsh line that I could possibly have. Now we're taking off the tapes. If something like this happened, don't worry. We are gonna clean it right now. Just be careful not to do it on the eye look, just on the bottom part of your lid that is the one that it got really dirty. For primer, I'm gonna go with the Infallible Matte Lock. I'm gonna press this to my entire face. Using my fingers, I'm pressing, applying, and blending at the same time the primer that I'm gonna use for my foundation. For foundation, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation in 845. With my Eco Tools Wonder Cover Complexion brush, I'm applying this foundation. I'm doing this in tapping motions and at the same time I'm buffing it in my skin. Now 
Going again with my Milani Retouch and Erase. I'm applying this concealer in the places I want to brighten it in my face, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my smile lines, chin, and under eyes. Going again for blending my concealer with my Sephora Pro 57 brush, I'm making sure that I don't have any visible lines in my foundation plus my concealer. Be really careful so you don't mess up your eye look and the precision of the shadow liner that we just did. Now to buff everything together, I'm going with my Crown Kabuki brush. I always do this to make sure that everything is well blended. To set my under eye, I'm going with my Cutty Air Spun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. I'm setting my under eye with my LH Cosmetic Powder Puff. And I'm setting everywhere where I apply my concealer. For bronzer, I'm going to use Physician Formula Butter Bronzer in Light Bronze. With my RLM Moda Pro BMX 130 brush, I'm warming my face, the hollows of my cheeks, my chin, and my forehead. For blush, I'm gonna go with this Essen Satin Touch Blush in 10 Satin Coral. With my Crown Blush Brush, I'm applying this in the apples of my cheeks to give a healthy look to my skin. And for highlighter, I'm gonna use this Milani Strobe Light in Dayglow 01. With one of the Crown Trio brushes, I'm applying this highlighter in the high points of my face, my cheeks, my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose. And to set my entire face, I'm going with my Fit Me Finishing Loose Powder in 15 Light. With my MAC 150 brush, I'm setting my entire foundation. To finish the eye look, I'm gonna go back to the Maybelline palette using the brown here. I'm going again with my LH Cosmetic 333 brush. I'm going to apply it to all my bottom lashes and tie it to the end of the eyelid. Now I'm going to blend it a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh. Going again with my Basanti Contour. Now I'm going back to the palette with the color black. This one I'm going to apply as close as I can to my bottom lashes until the half of them using again my Linda Halber or LH Cosmetic 333 brush. I'm pressing this shadow as close as I can to my bottom lashes. Going back to the palette, I'm gonna use this ivory satin color here. I'm going to highlight my brow wall. I'm gonna use it in my inner corner. And to my the rest of my lid, I'm gonna use this white color here. Using one of the crown trio brush. I'm tapping this eyeshadow to my lid. For my inner corners, I'm gonna use again my Milani. I'm gonna apply it with the tip of my finger. For my eyebrows, I'm going with my L'Oreal Brown Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. As you may already know, I don't do much for my eyebrows. I just fill a couple of gaps in and there that I have to shape them as I want them. Now with this pulley, I'm going to buff and blend the color. To finish my eyebrows, I'm going with my NYX Tinta Brown Mascara in Espresso. I love this product to give the finished touch to my eyebrow. I'm gonna do lashes, so I'm going with this Kiss Blowout Lash. First, I put my lashes to the center of my lid then with the help of the tweezers, I glued the corners of the lashes to my lead. Make sure that everywhere is glued because if not, you're gonna see the gaps in between. For mascara, I'm going with my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'm applying mascara to my lashes to help them blend in between my falsies. My bottom lashes. Apply as much mascara as you want because we don't have the help of falsies in the bottom. I'm going to mix my falsies with my lashes, so that's why I'm pressing them with my tweezers. For lips, I'm going for, with two lipsticks. I'm going with the Hard Candy, and I'm using one from Wet n Wild. First, we draw an X in our Cupid's bow, and then we fill the sides. And then the bottom lip. 
Now I'll apply my Wet n Wild lipstick on my bottom and top lip, only in the center of them. And for setting spray, I'm going with the NYX Dewy Finish. This is the final look. I hope you like it. And if you do, just give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you do this makeup, just send me the picture to my Instagram, to my Twitter, to my, let me see which is, Snapchat as well. So, see you in the next one. Bye!